Hey guys, it's Jackal coming at you with my second YouTube commentary. This is on the map Powerhouse. Um, this is interesting because it actually kind of demonstrates how the guys that I play with all of our different personalities. It's uh, There's all kinds of drama here. There's uh, betrayal, there's revenge, there's reconciliation all here in this one game. Um, it turns out that there were seven of us, uh, all friends, playing together this one evening. Um, and so that means that the eighth player is, is a stranger, and it turns out that probably half or two-thirds into the game, he quit, and it ended up being a, a four-on-three. And I think he quit because one of our sides was just so dominant, uh, uh, dominantly uh, uh, winning against the other team. Uh, okay, so here you see Kanji. He is usually like one of the first ones to get rockets because he flies. And he actually takes out DeWeet, which is unusual because DeWeet is really good with hitting armor lock as soon as he hears a rocket come at him. And you're going to see a demonstration of how effective he is with the armor lock later. Um, here's me just doing what I can to annoy DeWeet with that... Uh, uh, the beam rifle, we actually call it a P gun. Here's me also doing a bad job with overthrowing those grenades, totally missing the wheat. Fortunately, Kanji is above those stairs to, uh, to clean up and get him. All right, now here is Show Power. He is an all melee guy. Watch this. When he sees a ra someone on his radar that's in range, he goes after it. This case, he actually, that, sw that strike uh, actually didn't get him, but he will not relent. He's like, uh, he's just completely stubborn. When he is locked on to someone, he will run after them until he catches up. And you're going to see a little bit of his uh, typical style, which is very much uh, creeping, camping, um, hiding in high, uh, high traffic intersections where he takes other guys on. Okay, so here you see uh, the three of us happen to be in the same room. And the other team was using a lot of the, uh, the invisibility uh, 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 power uh, uh, armor uh, ability. Uh, so here you see... Uh, that's actually, a, again, a demonstration of how DeWeet uses his armor lock to screw with you when you do have a melee weapon. Um, you're going to see that in the other game, uh, the other times that it's show power versus DeWeet, that show power readjusts his uh, timing of his uh, club to, uh, to actually uh, beat DeWeet with uh, the armor lock blips. Um, this is just me. Uh, I think this was the beginning of one of my killing sprees, which just means you get five kills in a row without dying. Um, I do a little bit of kind of how show power plays. I tend to try to use my the crouching to stay off the radar a lot and uh, looking for the guys and just trying to get the advantage of uh, shooting first. Um, again, the Wii just getting completely clobbered with grenades. But you know what? He actually survived. I think that was probably like four, maybe five grenades thrown at him, and he survives that because of armor lock, and he knows when to... Uh, to, to back off and run away. Here's me, I'm thinking about who's under us because I saw that invisibility. I try to take a few pot shots at the wheat, and chuck a grenade in there hoping that uh, the guy dug on the other end could clean him up, but uh, he's not able to. Um, and here's me, I see this, uh, this is that eighth player that uh, is not uh, on our team. This guy who's just probably wondering how he got sucked into uh, to in that unfortunate uh, position. So again, the neat thing about this game is it kind of shows the different personality and play styles of the, uh, the guys that uh, I play with. Um, I will sometimes go an aggressive and, and run around a bit, but I tend to, oh, here's me just uh, cleaning up again, because I was uh, creeping, I stayed off radar. I tend to try to use uh, uh, the ability to stay off radar to kind of get a leg up. All right, here you're going to see what I call um, a demonstration of honestly an armor ability that is way overpowered so he has just extinguished two rockets on DeWeet and DeWeet has totally drained all, almost all his health and his, uh, his shield missile number three zero damage on DeWeet and I'm gonna guess no you know what DeWeet actually had some armor lock left um, and strangely it took four rockets to kill him um, and uh, DeWeet was still able to kill the other guy. Okay, now this is what I call the incident. So DeWeet is over here. He's going to crouch to try to get me with the DMR, and then you're going to see uh, this one guy, Yusaka, Kanunian Singh, step in front of him, and look at this. He gets mad and shoots him, tries to punch him because he was mad that he got in his line of sight, and that uh, just set Kanunian Singh off, and he essentially just went straight after DeWeet for like the next five minutes. 
Um, and here's a view from my side. I'm just like, what the heck is going on? These two guys are hit shooting each other. And it, it actually seemed to go on for like another five minutes. So I was just like, okay, I'm just going to stay back and kind of watch the fireworks. So uh, the lesson here, and watch this, Kanunian, he has one goal in mind. All he's going to do is look for DeWeet. See that D-A-V-I? He's just going to lock into this guy and just grieve him as much as possible because he just like has to let it out. Um, and you're going to see, uh, so that was me, I actually jumped over him to get out of his way. He's actually going after him. It turns out he got killed anyway. And look, he does a little quick mini tee back. And, you know, I think that that did it for him. Uh, oh, like that grenade just launched his body into the air. I, I think that was enough for him to get it out of his system because you're going to see later on they have a reconciliation. Um, all right, so going back to show power, he knows that there's someone around him. Um, he's doing his creep thing, staying off the radar because he is all about surprise, using his sprint. He still knows that there's someone around, so you're just going to see he just patiently waits, waits and waits. This is a relatively high traffic area. Here he goes. He knows there's someone close. He's probably guessing that the guy's about to come up the stairs. Okay, challenge with the armor lock, and look, he knows how to time the second strike so that he's able to counteract um, these guys who have armor lock. So there's two in a row. The armor lock guys try to blip him, but he knows how to time it. And that's because we've been all playing each other long enough. He's going to get a third now. I think uh, that was a little too far away, and he just does the damage. Um, so here's me doing a little bit of long distance. Um, uh, here I just get a shotgun. I'm an impossible. I'm basically on a three-on-one, and I take two of them out, but I'm not able to, of course, you know, finish them all. But not bad for um, being in a three-on-one situation. Uh, again, here's Show Power hunting out. He thinks this guy's downstairs and... Oh, hello! Taking a shower! I'll help you take a long shower. He, uh, he, again, when he knows there's a guy close by, he is just relentless with finding them and uh, clubbing them. Um, it turns out Show Power... Oh, that was actually an uncommon miss. But he's able to nose the back out and uh, wait for it the next time around while he uh, heals up. So show power is uh, really good with melee weapons. And if you get him on a level that's got a club, a sword, shotgun, he uh, usually does have a, a, a pretty uh, strong KD and a lot of assists. Okay, here's where you see those two guys who are going at it uh, making up. So Kanunian Singh is actually escorting uh, DeWeet, who makes the rocket run, and the two then stick together. And I think the wheat gets something like a like a four, uh, like a top, a double or a triple kill with one of the rockets because a bunch of our guys were hanging uh, in remaining. this one room, and he just got like a group kill. I think this is it. So he comes in here. I think there's at least two. So there's well, it took one ro second rocket. There's another guy in here. He loads up. Kanunian's gonna go strafe. He's gonna go flank around. And here's the last guy. He basically kills all three of them while Kanunian Singh goes around flanking, grabs a shotgun, and you're actually going to now see uh, Kanunian Singh do some pretty good damage. I think he might have even gotten a spree uh, with a shotgun. He just patiently waits it out in this nice high traffic corner. I attempted to go after him with that uh, grenade launcher and screwed that one up uh, because if I can't get him in one, I'm going to lose against the shotgun. The rest of this game is uh, just a little bit of this and that. Um, so here's the wheat who is, uh, again, by far our uh, best player, most consistent. Um, he picks these guys off, and you'll notice that he crouches when he's doing some long-distance uh, uh, DMR shots. And that is because, if you didn't know, the bloom on the DMR reduces significantly. Uh, here he goes. He's locked in. He's going to get it. He's locked in. and Oh! And he actually gets canceled out because the shotgun was a little bit faster. Um, here you're going to see me. I have a feeling that there is someone at the top of those stairs. It turns out to be Kanunian Singh. So I throw a grenade here to kind of test it because you can hear when it goes off, you hear like an oomph if there's a guy there. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to grab this club and I'm going to take this guy. But turns out it was Kanunian with the shotgun. I cannot get that club fast enough to be able to counteract him. So that was uh, not smart on my part. Uh, should have been a little more cautious, should have thrown my second grenade to try to at least have uh, damaged him. Um, there's a great use of armor lock again by Kanunian. I, I gotta say, I, I think of all the armor abilities, I am most frustrated by armor lock. Um, I usually play sprint, 
And there have been so many times that um, I w have what I think should be a sure kill, and I get blipped and killed by armor lock. Um, I just think that this uh, armor ability is rather overpowered. Um, when you can, with armor lock, you can uh, actually not only protect yourself, you can see here these two guys neutralize each other, um, not only protect yourself, but actually kill the other guy with a sword, shotgun, a vastly superior weapon. Um, there is something wrong when it can so easily be reversed. Um, who knows, maybe you say, well, hey, you should know better that they've got armor lock, then you shouldn't get engaged with them, you should just back off. Uh, well, that was nice. He actually punched the guy while he was on his way up. This is actually towards the end of the game. Um, you're going to see uh, the weed is trying to battling it out with uh, uh, show power and eye in that other room. I think he finally realizes he's probably outgunned, so he backs up, but he just kind of keeps going in and out, in and out. Um, and actually, the reason why Dawid is hanging out here is he knows that the rockets are about to respawn. I, I don't know if he's got like a timer at his desk. He knows exactly how many seconds it takes for it to respawn. When I realize he's going for the rockets, I figure, okay, I'll be safe under the cover of this catwalk. But as you can see, he actually aims for the side wall, and that splash damage gets me. Um, Here's kind of a funny thing. Oh, that's where that 8th player just now quit. Yeah, 46. It's, yeah, the game is over, dude. You didn't help out much. Here, see a little uh, battle of armor locks. Um, I forgot if that was me or him. Oh, that was a uh, bok choy that he killed. It was an uh, armor lock blipping battle. Um, this last scene is a demonstration of show power's determination when he locks on. He's actually in that room that DeWeet just threw a grenade in. He's there. He's still there waiting. And he's just waiting for him to pass up, pass him by. And here he goes, locked in, zooming with, <laughs> using the sprint. He he's locked in. He wants this kill. He's focused on him. Even with the armor lock, he gets the last kill, which ends the game. It wasn't a particularly close game, but it was fun, and it shows a lot of the personalities of these guys that uh, we all play together with. So hope you were entertained, and uh, have a great one. Take it easy.